Hello everyone, in this video we will study pathology and laboratory guidelines. This is going to be part 3. In part 1 and part 2, we have studied guidelines from organ or disease related panels till pathology clinical consultation. In this video, we will start with urinalysis. So, the code range is 81000-81099. So, in this section, urinalysis includes both simple and complex tests and analysis and all tests are performed on urine specimens. The code 8100 is for urinalysis by dipstick or tablet reagent for bilirubin glucose etc. Any number of these constituents non-automated with microscopy. Likewise, we have codes for automated with microscopy, non-automated without microscopy, urinalysis, qualitative or semi-quantitative, urine pregnancy test and 81099 for unlisted urinalysis procedure. Next is molecular pathology. The code range is 81170-81479. Molecular pathology procedures are medical lab procedures involving the analysis of nucleic acids such as DNA, RNA to detect variants in genes that may be indicative of germline or to test for histocompatibility antigens. Then we have tier 1 molecular pathology procedures that is for gene specific representing genomic procedures. Just go through the code range once. Next, there is Tier 2 Molecular Pathology Procedures. So, these codes are used to report procedures not listed in Tier 1 Molecular Pathology codes. The code range for Tier 2 Molecular Pathology Procedures are 81400-81479. Next important section is Surgical Pathology. The code range is 88300-88399. So, services 88300 through 88309 include assertion, examination and reporting. In surgical pathology, you can find the definition for a specimen. This is very important. Highlighted. A specimen is defined as tissue or tissues that is submitted for individual and separate attention requiring individual examination and pathologic diagnosis. Two or more specimens from the same patient are each appropriately assigned an individual code reflective of its proper level of service. So, in surgical pathology, we have levels of service. Let us check. The code 88300 is for level 1, that is surgical pathology gross examination only. Then 88302 is for surgical pathology gross and microscopic and 88304 is for surgical pathology gross and microscopic examination. So, for these codes, we have to check the type of specimen and including how the specimen was obtained. They have mentioned the type of specimens, right? Next is 88305, that is surgical pathology gross and microscopic examination. 88307 that is level 5 surgical pathology gross and microscopic examination for all these specimens. Then 88309 level 6 for surgical pathology gross and microscopic examination for all this. 88309 is the code which represents highest complexity. So you will code all these codes depending on the severity and 88309 is for the highest complexity remember that. There is an add-on code 88311 that is for decalcification procedure and you have to list it separately in addition to code for surgical pathology examination. If they have mentioned decalcification, you will use the add-on code 88311. Next important codes are 88325 that is for consultation comprehensive with review of records and specimens with report on referred material. Just highlight these important codes. 88329 is for pathology consultation during surgery. And 88331 is for first tissue block with frozen section, single specimen. And the add-on code 88332 is for each additional tissue block with frozen section. Okay. This is for each additional tissue block and we have to use 88332 in conjunction with 88331 and the code 88333 is for cytologic examination example touch prep squash prep initial site. Next is add-on code 
एट एट थ्री थ्री फोर दैट इज फॉर साइटोलॉजिक एग्जामिनेशन ईच एडिशनल साइट सो यू विल यूज एट एट थ्री थ्री फोर इन कंजेंशन विथ एट एट थ्री थ्री वन एंड एट एट थ्री 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 ऑलवेज पे अटेंशन टू द पैरेंथेटिकल नोट्स लेट इज सॉल्व अ क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू सर्जिकल पैथोलॉजी बिफोर सॉल्विंग दिस डोंट फोगेट टू शो योर सपोर्ट टू माई चैनल बाई लाइकिंग शेयरिंग एंड सब्सक्राइबिंग टू कोड मैंड मास्ट्री इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टडी सम मोर गाइडलाइंस एंड ऑल्सो प्रैक्टिस सम मोर क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू पैथोलॉजी एंड लेबोरेटरी सीरीज देन चेक माई प्ले लिस्ट सी पी सी एग्जाम पैथोलॉजी एंड लेबोरेटरी सीरीज रीड द क्वेश्चन अ सर्जिकल रिमूल ऑफ टू स्किन लीजन्स वन बींग अ पिगमेंटेड मॉड्यूल मेजरिंग 2 cm into 2.5 cm on the left upper back and the second lesion an inclusion cyst measuring 2.5 cm into 3 in the middle of the back both specimens were placed in individual containers to surgical pathology for gross and microscopic examination select the appropriate codes so as we know in surgical pathology we have levels of codes and we have to code it depending on the severity and which specimen they have mentioned so here there are two lesions that is pigmented nodule and inclusion cyst in option a they have mentioned 88304 into 2 check the code it is 304 is for 113 surgical pathology gross and microscopic examination in 88304 we have the specimen skin cyst that debridement right so it will be appropriate for inclusion cyst that is skin cyst that debridement Okay. In option A, they have multiplied eight eight three zero four two times, but we have only one specimen that is inclusion cyst from eight eight three zero four, and pigmented nodule is not present in eight eight three zero four, so we cannot multiply it two times, right? So option A will be wrong. We'll eliminate it. Coming to option B, eight eight three zero five. Check the code. That is for level four. surgical pathology gross and microscopic examination in that we have skin other than cyst tan debridement plastic repair so in the scenario the pigmented nodule falls under skin other than cyst tan debridement plastic repair so 88305 is the right code for pigmented nodule but they have multiplied it twice but we have only one specimen from 88305 so we cannot multiply it twice so eliminate option B coming to option C eight eight three zero four and eight eight three zero five so eight eight three zero four is for inclusion cyst that is skin cyst tag debridement that is correct and eight eight three zero five is for pigmented nodule it comes under skin other than cyst tag debridement plastic repair so option C is the right answer. Option D eight eight three zero four they have multiplied twice that is wrong and eight eight three two nine is for pathology consultation during surgery in the scenario they have not mentioned pathology consultation during surgery so option d will be wrong eliminated let us solve another question related to pathology and laboratory chapter read the question a provider orders a fibrin degradation ultra sensitive test to evaluate for possible dvt what is the correct laboratory code Check option a 85362 that is for fibrinogen degradation split products agglutination slide semi quantitative check option b 85378 that is for fibrin degradation products d dimer qualitative or semi quantitative check option c 85379 that is for fibrin degradation products d dimer quantitative and check option d 85380 that is for fibrin degradation ultra sensitive qualitative or semi quantitative now in the scenario they have specified fibrin degradation ultra sensitive test so which among these codes specifies ultra sensitive 85380 that is for fibrin degradation products ultra sensitive right so option d is the right answer option a 85362 that is for fibrinogen degradation split products that is not matching with the scenario so eliminate option a coming to option b 85378 that is for fibrin degradation products qualitative or semi quantitative but in the scenario they have mentioned ultra sensitive so we cannot code 85378 and also 85379 that is for 
fibrin degradation products quantitative that is also wrong the right answer is option d so that's it for today in the next video we'll solve some more cpc exam practice questions related to pathology and laboratory series so stay tuned